All right, we're currently on band two on Verizon. We're gonna go ahead and do a speed test on band two. Now we're going to drive to an area with extremely low coverage to the point where there's almost no coverage. Maybe none, maybe no coverage. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to switch bands and then do a speed test. We're going to switch to the infamous 13 band, which Verizon uses as a last kind of, before the cell phone tower goes out, kind of band band. Let's see if I can let's see if I can find it though. If I could ever make a left turn here. I don't know what band I'm on now. Band two. Okay, we're on a PCS band now. We're gonna go to an area with almost no coverage. But it's kinda hard to find an area with no coverage because it's Verizon. But this is an AT&T phone that's not supposed to have band 13, but yet it has band 13. And also supports Sprint, which is not supposed to support Sprint, according to Samsung's website. Yet, it supports band 25, 26, 41, which is Sprint. I don't understand that. Whatever. It does not support 3G bands, though. That's the only thing this phone doesn't have. But Verizon's getting rid of their 3G network very soon. Okay, this is a very low coverage area. Like, we're talking just like, bleh. Like, even Verizon doesn't work here. Now we're on the infamous band 13 that's not supposed to work on this phone. And there is really no coverage here, though. It's really low. It's, it's really low, but there is stuff. There is something there, but it is a really... Uh, we're on band 13. We're getting 34 megabits on band 13, which is not... This phone's not supposed to have band 13, but it fully supports it. The FCC ID shows that it supports band 13. Also supports band 66 and band 2. Uh, but it also supports Sprint's bands, which doesn't make sense because when I put the SIM card in and activate it through Sprint, it was working with Sprint, even though this is an AT&T variant, which I still don't understand. So right now we're on band 13, the infamous far band that reaches the furthest. And it's very hard to lose signal with Verizon. I mean, you saw that it had almost only had one bar, but it's still connected. Yeah, we're, on, we're still on the infamous band 13, and it keeps, every time it vibrates, it's switching bands because we're switching towers. Okay, we're gonna go to a low coverage area. I, I just don't know where to go to though, where they have like really low coverage. It's hard to find uh, an area where there's like no coverage other than going indoors. Okay, let me go to this low coverage area over here and see what happens. But it just, it just keeps... Still on band 13, which this phone's not supposed to support supports perfectly and it's EarthCon so it is band 13 still on band 13 because we're far away from a tower you're not supposed to get the best speed but you're supposed to get you know pretty good speeds but not the best speeds To a, I'm going to an area where there's supposed to be almost no coverage, even with Verizon, but I mean, just no matter where you go, it's just always like at least a bar. Even when it shows no bars on the um, 
not unlocked variant, but on the unlocked variant, this is the firmware for it. Uh, when it shows no bars, that means there's usually one bar of service before it shows uh, the no bars. We're st I think we're still on beta 13. Yep. Yeah, we're 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 still not really. I'm still driving, but it just it still connects. I don't get it. And AT and T has five bars here. No matter where I go, I, I I okay okay. Here's a low coverage there. Nope. Yeah, it still has. Okay, I'm at the end of this road, dead end. And we have four bars. Four out of five bars, four megabits, band 13. Which this phone's not supposed to support, but it does. Too bad it doesn't support the 3G bands, but Verizon's getting rid of the 3G bands. Okay, so now we're at... I'm at the end of this area. Oops. Oh, I didn't click it hard enough. Okay, we're, we're about two bars of band 13. Of course. Of course. Still band 13. I, I can't find a dead zone. <sighs> Fucking Verizon. <laughs> T-Mobile would have went out already where, I, where I'm at right now. I don't know, maybe you guys can find what the TAC ECI is. I don't know what the hell all that shit is, but... I'm kind of showing you guys how the bands are changing and then the decibels are going down. That means the signal's getting better, not up. So band 13, this phone's not even supposed to support band 13, but it does. I don't get it. Every time you see it updating with band 13, notice the decibels are going down so the signal's actually getting better, not worse. The lower the decibels, the higher the signal, the higher the signal, the higher the decibels, uh, the lower the band, or the lower the speed and support, and you might not even be able to make a phone call. Now this phone can still make phone calls, even though it lacks the 3G, it still supports uh, Verizon's PCS 13, what is it, 1800, I don't know. You can still make phone calls on the 3G network, or the 2X network for phone calls. So I guess that's okay. Hey! I'm driving over here! Band 13. Okay, still connected. Can't really get away from this Verizon coverage, man. I'm trying, but they have really good coverage even out in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Doesn't want to stop connecting. Shocking. Acres are for sale right here. What the fudge? Oh, I'd buy that land in a heartbeat if I could. In a heartbeat, right there on top of the hill, like that. Five bars service. Oh yeah, I'd buy. I'd buy that land right there. Oh my god, it's so beautiful right here. AT and T has one bar, and of course Verizon still in the negative 100, so it's still serviceable in this area. It's impressive. I know there's a dead zone around here somewhere. I just gotta find it. Okay, here we go. Almost no coverage dead zone but it never disconnects uh, 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 125 decibels 130 is a cutoff bar and it's it's still connected wow that's the power of Verizon one bar one bar speed test And of course, that was a very short-lived lack of coverage that Verizon does. I can't get away from it. Okay, I have to lose coverage over here. I'm going to between mountains now at this point. I'm 
I have to lose, lose coverage here. This is a very low coverage area. It's bad 13 coverage. Speed should be slow. The bar should be low. But let's just find out. Because band 13 goes pretty goddamn far for 700 megahertz. It's amazing this coverage though. Okay, real low coverage. Real low coverage. This should be a very bad area for Verizon. We got hills, we got foliage, we got lack of cell phone coverage. And somehow, still holding on, still holding on. We still got two bars of Verizon technically here. And remember that unlock shows only four bars, but technically it's five. So, I mean, there is no coverage, there's no speed, nothing. It's, it's very low coverage in this area. AT&T has four bars. Very low coverage area. Even for Verizon, this is low. I think it's switched towers. Yep, it's still connected. It's low, though, but it still works. Wow. As low coverage as that is, it's still connected. That just shows you how rare it is to get a bad signal with Verizon. Upload should be really bad in this area. AT&T has four bars. No upload. Very low upload speed. But I'm in an area where there shouldn't be any speeds. But it is band 13. So that band 13 coverage is still giving people to make phone calls and do basic internet surfing, but you're not going to really get like really good speeds here. But it's still LTE and it's still connected. You probably do better off with 3G in this area. Okay, this is about as low as it goes. Yeah, you probably you, you just you can't really get much worse than this. Half a megabit down. Okay, I'm going into the dead zone. Or what I think should be a dead zone. Okay, this is about as low as I can go, right about right here. Like, this is as dead as it's gonna get. See what the bars are. If there is any upload speed, I would be surprised. I'm literally in a dip in the ground, underneath the ground, in like an area where it's like dipped down below the mountains. And there's still connectivity. Wow. How about AT? Oh my god, AT&T has one bar. 
Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if it has any connection. <gasps> With one bar, AT&T is pulling down 10 megs. That's not bad. Wow, that's not bad. Okay, so with AT&T, 15 megabits down. Okay, now there's no bars right here. What band are we on? And this is hard even for AT&T though. I mean for Verizon. AT&T, almost no connection right here. Wow. It's hard to find a dead spot with Verizon. Okay, I'm in the hill right here. There's there's no all this foliage, plus being way down. Oh, uh, I wonder. There should be no connectivity right here. With the S10, there was no connectivity. Wow. Okay, so the antenna on it's a little better with Verizon on the uh, Note. Oh, look, there's some deer. All right, guys, I'm going to stop this video and record some deer.